And welcome everybody back to Shadow of the Colossus Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. This time we're actually taking down the second Colossi, um, obviously. Um, but hey, there's a shadowy man. Naked shadow, just watching us. And obviously we've done well so far, because we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> game over. <laughs> Didn't say it was a long game. Oh, okay, there we go. I'd like... Despite the fact that it's a PS2 game, they put a lot of effort into the cloth. You can actually see it kind of mold around the body. Man, I had a dream my horse climbed up a ladder. <laughs> On its back. I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> I got that wing over there. Oh, there it is. Effort on the cloth, not so much on the wings. <laughs> it... You know, Wanderer is a bit of a short-term guy. He already thought he was going to be alive. It's like, oh yeah, there's like 15 more of these things I have to kill, don't I? <laughs> and that is how you destroy the statues. With lightning powers, apparently. And Jesus organs. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who built that is going to be pissed. Bird's like, I didn't do it! <laughs> <laughs> you destroyed my statue! I'm going to get the others! And also, Dorman's not much into breaks because we already have our next goal here. Oh, that seems kind of rude to say. <laughs> Don't fart all of them slow. I like how the statue kind of indicates shape, but it's still kind of hard to tell what it's going to look like. So it gives you some hint, but not quite. It's a gopher monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're fighting a gopher monkey. Awesome. Sweet. So I decided to spaz down the stairs. <laughs> okay, now I'm at the bottom. I remember to play again. <laughs> I'm going to call these next two... Uh, the controls, yeah, get used to them. Hi, aggro shoulder. <laughs> That's that is your stomach. Okay. <laughs> Hi, bird. So, I've obviously, if you've seen thus far, we really only have three tools at our disposal. One of them, which includes our own hands. So we really don't have much to take down these uh, colossi. I guess I can count uh, aggro the horse as maybe a tool of some kind, especially in the battle. We'll, we'll definitely need her. Oh. And this thing, I don't really use. At least not much. Um, but these count as save points, because although the first Colossi was really close, some of the other ones are going to be a lot farther away, and saving so you don't have to re-travel if you turn off the game is uh, a godsend. Plus it heals you. So I'm going to show what that looks like. After I get used to the controls again. Okay. And then when I try to laser that, <laughs> take that wall. <laughs> I'm into etching. And I'm like, okay, ready to pray. It's like he's going to scribble Wait, his name. Why isn't anything happening? Pray. <laughs> no, horse, get over here. Okay, no, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, I forgot how to pray, people. He burns his name onto the tablet with the sword. Carves it out. <laughs> pray, you bitch. Ping, <laughs> ping. You can see a lot of moments of me just jumping straight in the air because I'm like, oh yeah, that button still jump, good. <laughs> Alright. Now, for the sakes of this Colossi, yeah. it's actually on the opposite side of this castle. Yeah. And we get to see, soon enough, one of our favorite friends in the world. Not yeah. Wall. Not Aww. Wall. <laughs> see ya, Wall. Yeah. I hope it's Bridge. <laughs> it's... Now, I don't want to spoil yeah. anything. But it is bridge! Yay! Bridge! It was a big staircase, wasn't it? It's huge. Yeah, I like the fact that um, in this game, when you're riding on the horse, the camera doesn't yeah. center on the horse. You're actually a little bit usually on the left or the right. Kind of uh, off-center beauty shot. Two-thirds rule. <laughs> and what I love about this game, especially with areas like this, it just makes you look very, very tiny. Oh god, oh god! <laughs> Your horse can't fall off, can it? The horse is smart enough to know when to stop. Thank okay. god. Is there any points where I'm just like, hey, sunlight, why am I falling? <laughs> <laughs> just takes a nosedive and he still has the sword. Why is it dark? <laughs> so, parts like this are very nice because the direction to find the class eye isn't always obvious. So these little cinematics go, hey, you're going the right way. When you're going the wrong way, it just pauses and you hear someone scream off in the distance. You're going the wrong way. 
<laughs> it's, the col it's just the Colossus waving at you. I'm waiting! Yeah. <laughs> Can you see me? Yeah. No! Yeah. Okay! <laughs> You're half an hour! What? I'll put the dips back in the microwave! I can't ever! I'm allergic! <laughs> so, half of this uh, Let's yeah. Play is going to be in muffled screaming. Um, <laughs> Let's hope not. Yeah, here's a really cool shot, if I don't ruin it with too many things. That's pretty. Yeah. That is. Yeah. What I also like is the fact that they also put a lot of effort into how the camera works. If you notice when I'm galloping pretty quickly, the camera has a slight, like, rumble every time he takes the step. Gives a little bit more of an element of, gr you know, this gritty feeling and a little bit more realism to it. This game was definitely ahead of its time, obviously. <laughs> I like how the horse is actually kicking dirt up. Yeah. Alright. That wall is the Colossi, obviously. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> I'll pray to you, bitch. <laughs> So the horse kind of figured it out. We should stop. Because that thing is... Whoa. And one also the one of the best songs in the game, too. And... A little comparison size, just in case you didn't know. Wow. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Turn! Turn! <laughs> I'm just waiting for one of the Colossus to have... to be riding a giant Colossus horse. <laughs> You're just like the one small a rider. You want to go, little man? You want to go? <laughs> He's like, you know what? I don't, even, I don't even like her that much. I'm gonna go see other people. So one thing you gotta get used to, especially this, is being able to shoot your bone arrow while riding the horse. Of course, aggro has a habit of just doing its own thing. Um, you can pull on the reins. I do make a very clear mistake when I try pulling on the reins because if you don't pull hard enough, she doesn't stop. <laughs> so you'll see where that kind of comes into mistake here in a second. Um, the trick is obviously on the legs, there's not too many things we can climb on, on that thing. There's no patches of fur or anything. Okay, I thought she was stopped here. She's still walking. She's still walking. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Maybe if I shoot the neck, she'll stop. So what I'm waiting for is big glowing weak spot right there. So if I shoot that... <laughs> Out of the way! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Aggro, goddammit. And luckily, Patch of Fur becomes available. So clingy! Right now, okay. <laughs> Bye, Wanderer, see you <laughs> I gotta admit, seeing this thing walk around on four legs was actually really unnerving. I don't know why. There is a slight element of, it's, it's otherworldly, but it's also rather familiar. And the fact that it, the pace it moves even makes it a little bit creepier. Yeah. Hell of an entrance, too. Just crashing through the wall. I love the reveal, because obviously this is not a gerbil monkey, it's a, clearly a <laughs> giant bull. Now that's a little trick I call jumping to move it a little faster. <laughs> As seen in Skyward Sword. Now it works well on certain things like this because there's such an emphasis on momentum. <laughs> Dude, the horse! What's the horse doing? <laughs> yeah, I gotta get the fuck out of here, duh! <laughs> I'm helping, I'm helping! <laughs> <laughs> it has a bow arrow in its mouth, just blasting. <laughs> okay, that's what. Oh, gravity! <laughs> Alright, so first. So, what we're heading now is obviously like the last guy. His head's probably pretty weak. Ow, my back. Um, <laughs> I'm okay, though. Now, why I'm not really using the grip meter right now is because I kind of want to save it. But. Hello, big, obvious, stabby spot. This just gives you a, just a chance at scale compared to you and this beast. It's it's a lot bigger than the first guy we fought. Yeah, it is. And, and big thing I'm only showing on this is that you do want to take your time with the stabs, because if you try little quick stabs, they don't do nearly enough damage to hurt it. And also, if you notice his eyes, its eyes change colors when you stab it, too. Oh, I do see that. A lot of detail went into this game. Huh. They emphasize a lot of particle effect, effects, gravity. Um, they wanted to tell a story without people actually telling you the story. Just kind of have you live it as opposed to hear it. Exactly. 
And I'm stepping back here for a minute so I can recover my grip gauge here. Big thing is that if he swung his head and that grip gauge had gone, I'd go flying into that wall, so that is not choice. And that's how I jump. Oh god, that freaked it out. <laughs> this is such heroic flinging music. Right? <laughs> it's kind of silly, but great. Da, 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 vroom, vroom. <laughs> See, I, I like to question how that thing lost its horn there. It must have fought something else. Or maybe when it hit that wall, it broke it. It's like, that was a bad decision. <laughs> this is an amazing song, though. Yeah, they, they put a lot of... The scores in this game are amazing. I own the entire soundtrack. Definitely worth checking out. Also, um, you'll see a new mechanic coming up, because if he knows his health is trickling a lot slower than the first one, I've stabbed a lot more times than the first one before it died. I did notice that. So another step back here to gather strength. Da, da, da. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> the music takes a break too. <laughs> and also, if you notice, his body shakes depending on where you stand. I like that they put a lot of thought behind things like that. But, uh oh. Um, this thing just leaks blood. So, how's, how's it not covering him? So, if you notice, I, the spot's gone now. So, new trick with the second one there's multiple spots. And sometimes the one spot won't appear until you take the first one out. In this case, we're gonna find the second. Oh, that was a wall. Um, <laughs> I thought that was a cutscene. <laughs> oh, that was a cool trick. That was an accident. That was momentum for you. All right, butt stabby time. Butt stabbing time. I'm gonna tell you, there's nothing heroic about what I'm about to do here. <laughs> <laughs> My ass! The music tells me otherwise, Travis. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Right? Apparently, you're the biggest hero this land has ever seen. <laughs> no, the horse is. <laughs> Still helping! Am I helping? Am I helping? See, so you know, that was a little stab issue where really nothing happened. And blood all in my face. Right? And it never gets on him. He's like, oh, whatever. And bye bye, Mr. Bull. You know, I was waiting for the thing to start grinding against a stone pillar just to get it off you. <laughs> like a bear scratching his back in the woods. Oh. Yeah, it's just, oh, oh, you're just like, oh, flying around. Flailing. So obviously, I want to get away from this thing as quickly as possible, but I'm stuck on foot wall. So you can try to call for your horse to get away, but no. No matter what you do, it just gets you. It'll always get you. And you also see the claw side turning all dark and deformed and gross. <laughs>